Are you just loving this sunshine? Oh, we're loving the sunshine. And you know what else we love? A new episode of Garden Time. And welcome to Garden Time. As you can see, we're still staying safe, but we're in our gardens gardening. And you know, many of our independent garden centers are open, so check out their website to see the procedures they have to keep us all safe. And coming up on the show today, we'll show you some small Japanese maples for your garden. And we'll also share some spring blooming perennials. But coming up first, some beautiful spring color. Well, I am so excited to be talking to Ellen Egan out at Egan Gardens. And Ellen, we love coming out there, but you are gonna show us what beauty you have at the nursery right now. So go right ahead. Okay, well, we have lots of flowers here. Flowers are what we're about. And one of my favorites, it's just prime right now, are the Garvinia Gerbera daisies. Mm. It's an awful name, but then they gave them cute names like Sweet Smile and Sweet 16. and sweet Caroline, but they just really do look like smiley faces on a plant. They have a really long bloom season that's way better than other Gerbera daisies. They never stop blooming. They put out masses of them and they live through the winter, which is something that other Gerbera daisies don't do. When I planted out 10 of them last winter, eight out of the 10 came through. So they're perennial, they're nonstop bloomers, and they're a great cut flower. That is great. So just fertilize them a lot. Fertilize them, use the Proven Winners fertilizer, and deadhead them by snapping off the flower stems at the base of the plant rather than cutting them so that it leaves the center of the plant open to keep reblooming better. Nice. What other beautiful things do you have out there? Oh, we have tons of geraniums. Uh, geraniums have always been our signature plant. My dad started as a geranium grower way back when and we still do lots of them. They're kind of a perfect plant in that they're really cold tolerant, so you can plant them out early. They keep blooming way into the fall. I've seen them blooming in December if we have a mild fall, and they bloom all summer though. The heat doesn't bother them either. They are really easy to deadhead. You can just pop off a whole head at the base instead of having to do all kinds of picking on them, and they come in all colors. We really like to use them in the centers of our hanging baskets because uh, they make just that nice mound of big flowers in the center. We also grow lots of the ivy geranium baskets. We do solid baskets of them, and we have lots of those baskets this year because they didn't go off to the fundraiser, so I hope everybody will come and get them from us. The ivy geraniums are good in the mixed containers, too. I'm not sure if you can see the one behind me here. Beautiful. Uh, but the ivy geraniums get that name because that shiny, thick leaf that looks like an ivy leaf is actually an adaptation to handle heat and drought. So they're one of the easiest basket materials to take care of because they can handle going dry, they can handle hot sun, they're pretty much impervious. The only thing that could go wrong with geraniums is that the geranium budworms can come and find them. They're nasty little green caterpillars that eat the buds of geraniums and petunias. Fortunately, there's a really safe, easy fix for that. You can use BT. We carry the safer brand BT called Caterpillar Killer. And that's what it does. They, if you just use that every two weeks, spray it all over where the flower buds are, you won't have any problem with the caterpillars. And it's completely safe for us, for hummingbirds, for bees, for ladybugs. It only affects caterpillars. Ah, and so we where do we find... Where can we find information about what you're doing when, when you're coming out, what your hours are? Oh, you can go to our website and we've got all, all the hours. We're actually open our regular hours, just like usual, but we are observing all the safety protocols that we can. We hope that people will take advantage of the opportunity to call us with an order so that they can just pick up in the driveway. That seems to be working really well and keeping people safe. 
Well, you know, it's always wonderful to come out. We can't wait till we're back in regular time and come out to all the beauty, but I hope that people remember to come out and just follow all the protocols and enjoy Egan Gardens this spring. Ellen, take care and thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. What's even better than buying a brand new Subaru? How about getting the best possible value from a place that's as trustworthy and dependable as a Subaru? At Capital Subaru, your satisfaction is our goal, which is why you can always expect the kind of service and selection that keeps you smiling. From our lot to your driveway. Spring savings are here. Now at Capital, lease the versatile new 2020 Subaru Forester Limited with standard eyesight, just $2.99 per month. Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Find everything you need for spring at Al's Garden and Home. Many people looking for health care alternatives have experienced the benefits of CBD oils and creams. But how do you know you're getting the highest quality products? Trust Red Barn Hemp. We sustainably grow the hemp on our farm in the Willamette Valley, then extract the oil in our industry-leading on-site lab. All plants, oil, and final product are tested along the way, so you can be assured you're getting the highest quality CBD products available. Have questions? Stop by our retail store or check out our website. Red Barn Hemp. For family. For life. Color, color, color. When you think of your garden, think of color. Then think of Margie's Farm and Garden. High quality plants and great customer service are our trademark. We make sure you're happy with every purchase. Whether you're a first time gardener or a seasoned professional, we'll help you be successful every time you step into your garden. Vegetables or herbs, hanging baskets or perennials, trust Margie's Farm and Garden, just off I-5 near Aurora. The health and beauty of your garden starts from the ground up, and healthy soils begin at Grimm's Fuel. For the best in garden mulch, blended soils, and bark dust, choose Grimm's. U-Haul delivered or installed, Grimm's can do it. And if you're looking for a new lawn, Grimm's can do that too with our special lawn installation service. Grimm's is also the area's largest recycler of yard debris. The foundation for a healthy garden begins at Grimm's Fuel. Spring is all about freshness, and you can't get any fresher than Blooming Junction. From new and interesting annuals and perennials that can bring fresh color to your garden, to the freshest of produce from our fields and from local growers. We can also help you be successful with our full slate of timely and helpful classes. Freshen up your home and garden, inside and out, with a visit to Blooming Junction. Blooming Junction, offering quality plants for beautiful gardens and great tasting food for your table. Well, it's a beautiful spring day. People have been in their gardens, they're planting, things are blooming, and I'm here with Ron from Blooming Junction. And Ron, you have a whole bunch of great perennials for blooming for this spring. So what, what do you have for us today? Well, I've got um, a couple of Monardas I'm gonna show you uh, to start off with. Um, this is the Monarda uh, Jacob Klein. This is a rather tall one at four to five feet, mildew resistant, beautiful red foliage, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> beautiful red flowers, um, but this is a tall one. And then I have basically the same thing, uh, another red, this one's called Fireball, and this one's gonna stay short around 16 to 20 inches. So there's room in your garden for a Monarda. Um, this Jacob Klein, I should have mentioned, is, if I didn't, uh, is mildew resistant, so that's great. Which is great. Uh, the Monardas suffer from a little bit of mildew. Um, I have a cat mint here, uh, a nepeta, a little titch, uh, great pollinator. This is a dwarf variety, so this is perfect for a pathway, uh, front of the border, anywhere uh, that you want to add a little bit of color, spill over a little rock wall. It's a great little plant. And both, both those and the Menard are great because they're nice, nice long blooming, so you kind of get that late, you know, spring into the summer, and you know, they're both deer resistant also, right? Right. Right. And then I have here a uh, baby's breath. This one's called Bristol's Fairy. 
Uh, this one gets about three by three. It's got beautiful double bl uh, blossoms on it. So, you know, if you have a, gutting, a cutting garden, this is a definite must have for the cutting garden. And they're also great dried. Another plant I have here is this is a Rissimum Golden Bowls. Um, you know, for people that haven't grown wallflowers, it, they're the, one of the easiest long blooming plants that you could possibly have in the garden. Uh, fragrance, so you want it someplace in, where you can walk by and enjoy the fragrance. This is a wonderful one. And that, those will bloom for months, right? They go, go right. through the summer. Forever, and they start very, very early in the season. Right. And then finally what I have is a Cianote. This this is Vandenberg. This is a shorter one. This is about three by five. Um, great uh, if you want to attract bees to your garden. Um, the one thing about this that I always caution my customers is do not plant this around your lawns or anything. Summer watering, once established, will kill them. They right. Love so it definitely likes that drought tolerance. And that's what I've got. And so it looks like you, you have a, a great selection of perennials and stuff coming on um, out at the nursery. And, you know, people can come out. I'm assuming they can come shop. And they're, but, you know, during these, these times, what are your protocols now for people coming out to the nursery well in addition to the standard protocols the six feet um, we have sanitizing stations um, you know around our cart entrance our cart areas um, entrances to the stores um, we also have the senior shopping on sunday mornings from nine to ten and wednesdays from eight to nine uh, we also do an online uh, grocery uh, curbside ordering uh, for those that just don't feel comfortable going into the store. And that's okay. for our produce and grocery only. Okay. And so, and you guys send out a, a big newsletter, email blast. They'll have that information and they can also go to your website or you can click over to gardentime.tv and we'll have that information on there and they click click you over so ron we appreciate you being with us today you have a bunch of beautiful perennials that we're just excited about having to color in our yard starting now and going throughout the summer so we appreciate you joining us today and stay safe and enjoy the sunshine thank you ryan Hi, I'm Sarah from Portland Nursery, where spring is our favorite time of year. It's the time to prepare your garden for planting. We invite you to get a jump on spring with our huge selection. Let Portland Nursery's staff of professionals help with groceries you can grow. We've got the seeds, veggie starts, and expertise to ensure your success. Visit PortlandNursery.com for a list of classes and special events. Portland Nursery, helping make your backyard your favorite destination at 50th and Stark and 90th and Division. Since 1982, The Wall has been making local gardens beautiful, naturally. Whether you need a new wall, concrete patio, fire pit, or driveway, The Wall's expert craftsmen can build it. We back up our work with a five-year warranty so you'll know it'll last. We use the highest quality materials, including stamped colored concrete, natural stone, and we're the leader in using recycled concrete. Create an outdoor environment you'll enjoy for years with the help of your friends at The Wall. Nestled in the oaks of the Willamette Valley is a nursery that is truly exceptional. At Out in the Garden Nursery, you will find a vast array of shade plants, ornamental grasses, and hardy perennials. Let us help you bring color and texture into your garden. We offer over 100 types of perennials. Many of our plants are evergreen for year-round interest. Plus, we offer the best in personal attention. Out in the Garden Nursery, where we grow great gardens one plant at a time. Since 1926, the Bonite Company has worked with homeowners to make their homes and gardens beautiful. If you have a garden problem, Bonite has the answer. Repel moles, gophers, and other ground burrowing critters with Mole Max from Bonide. Clean and biodegradable, it's safe to use around children, plants, and pets. Visit Bonide.com to find a local retailer and to download your free Bonide Problem Solver app for your iPhone or Droid. At Garland Nursery, you'll find top quality plants, four generations of garden know-how, fun and fantastic garden decor, and the best in garden supplies. 
Come visit us at Garland Nursery. Since 1937, inspiring beautiful and bountiful gardens. Well, I think everybody should have a Japanese maple in their garden, but sometimes they're too big. So I'm with Brian Sugawa at Sugawa's Nursery. And Brian, you really selected some Japanese maples that maybe are a little bit smaller for smaller gardens. Yeah, thanks, Judy. Um, well, that's what's nice about Japanese maples to me is changing all the time, you know, yeah. so they don't stay the same color and always enhance the yard with different colors, contrast. But yeah, I brought in a nice little selection for, uh, for you to see with all the different ones. So what is this have. one over here? This one right in front of me, you can see the, Pretty. with the fresh new foliage uh, just right now unfolding, We it's gonna be yellow bird, which pretty much just stays all this nice green color throughout the season, well, chartreuse and the yellow really comes in the fall for the yellow fall coloration. Nice. Likes to get pretty good size, you know, 12 plus, mm -hmm. which most of these Japanese maples do. We did bring in a couple little dwarfer ones or more uh, compact. But most of them right around 12, 15 foot tall, and you can control them easily by pruning them. But yeah, that's a, a very nice one. Right and that's there. Not, still not too big. I mean, 12 feet in a garden, that's really not and so big. And you can control it a lot right. smaller, especially growing in a container. Easily mm -hmm. controlled, you know, if you don't, if you take the leader out or control it a little bit more, you can keep them at pretty much the size you would like. I love this one with that red edge. That's beautiful. Now, one of our favorites, uh, Sumagaki. Well, what it's going to do is kind of have this, as it unfolds, you'll get this more of a burgundy kind of a tip on it with that char same kind of a color, the chartreuse green, but it kind of goes to more of a medium, kind of an olive green, but nice throughout the whole season. Kind Beautiful. of adds a little interest in there with the tips like that. And I like that you plant, you gave us some, some ideas of companion plants because in a container, even in a bed, you yeah. want something else that will kind of contrast or complement. I think they can always, especially, you know, if we're doing a, a container 12 months out of the year while well, maple's losing their lease, we would probably want to, you know, there's little ground covers you can do, dwarf conifers for some yellows, golds. Mm -hmm. uh, always adds a little more something to look at throughout 12 right. months out of the year. So mondo grass and wire vine, really something nice to put yeah, at the bottom. Or you can do some flowering, you know, just as long as it didn't take over, you can right. probably consider a lot of plants that grow in there as long as it stays small. So this one is Shana, burgundy right yeah. off the bat, which is beautiful. Very bright. It's going to unfold uh, Shana. It's like, they call it uh, like a dwarf type uh, blood good, but it, it, it is really uh, kind of a semi-dwarfer variety. I think of it about six foot tall, eight foot at the And furthest. really more round. So yes. different. Very stocky bush, twiggy growth. Mm -hmm. It does like to grow upright. And easy control too. One, one, uh, you can easy control this at uh, whatever height you like in between that those I just mentioned. Very but, cool. Yeah, but you can see the yellow against. Doesn't the, that look the nice? Yeah, it that's a nice idea. Kind of nice little contrast with each other. Pretty. And now we're going to a taller red-leafed one. Yeah, um, this one it doesn't show too much. It's got some what we call veining in there, but it's going right. to be kind of like this model. It have a little variegation in that what we call the mid rib. Kind of a newer one for us, uh, Amaji Shigura. Beautiful. So, um, but what's going to be interesting, it's going to have a little darker on the outside of the margin with a little pinkish in the inside. Pretty. Uh, kind of interested to see what it's going to do for us. Uh, for me and uh, the nursery here, it's kind of a newer one. That and you're really always seen. getting some new ones in because well, you have a great selection of right. Japanese maples, but even you get new ones in. The, that, it seems like the they're trial. coming out with new ones, and I don't know how many there is. But <laughs> it would be, um, I, I don't even know where to begin, but there's just... Uh, <laughs> Come on out and see them. Exactly. There's always new ones. There. And this one is so pretty. I love the flowers. They're such a dark red against yeah. this kind of gold foliage. Well, that's just it. You know, they all have a little bit different... Uh, some kind of added interest into this, mm -hmm. but you're right. When this is uh, coming out, you can see a softer new growth. Um, this one is another newer one for us, Harasumi. Harasumi. So Very there's pretty. my Japanese for you, but uh, I don't, that's another new one. I don't really know too much about it. It's, uh, we're waiting to see what it's going to really do, right. but uh, you can see it's kind of be kind of more of a yellowish uh, with a little uh, darker on the out outside of the leaf with red in there. And then look at this, it's a, like a little pine. It's a variegated Japanese white pine, but look at that variegation. It just kind of like sparkles, sparklers. Yeah, it does. It so Brian, I think what we really want to tell everybody is that you have a wide selection of Japanese right. maples, really for any garden. Yes, just for all sizes and all spaces in the yard, you bet there'd be one to fit all. And so if we do have questions about pruning it or taking care of it in a container in a bed, you guys all have that um, We do. Answers we to. try to give the advice needed container, whatever the project would be. Uh, we have the containers to go with it. Oh, and wow. uh, 
pruning, all the all the requirements that we can give, we'd sure be get, glad to give you advice. Uh, well, I have to come up to Woodland, Washington, to Sagawa Nursery. Come see all the plants, but especially their Japanese maple collection. Thanks so much, Brian. Thanks, Judy. At Sagawa Nursery, we talk about going beyond the ordinary. Whether it's new and exciting varieties of plants and shrubs, to a wide selection of unique Japanese maples, or our great collection of tools, garden products, and Asian-themed gifts, we can help transform your garden into something extraordinary. Come in and let us make your garden a showcase. Sagawa Nursery, growing beyond the ordinary. For over 100 years, Collier Arborcare and Bartlett Tree Experts have provided tree and shrub care services to the Portland metropolitan area. From large tree and small shrub pruning, tree removal and stump grinding, we can handle all your tree care needs. Our arborists diagnose and treat your toughest insect and disease problems. We also have organic solutions for growing and maintaining healthy gardens, as well as organic nutrition for your trees and shrubs. Collier and Bartlett, environmentally friendly since 1907. Find everything you need for spring at Al's Garden and Home. For 90 years, Espoma has one guiding principle. Develop the finest organic gardening products that work in harmony with nature, grow beautiful gardens, and make a greener world for the future. From our soil products to our plant foods, we have always been committed to the environment and sustainability. We use a vast array of natural and organic ingredients and package them in our 100% solar-powered plant. Look for the quality line of Espoma products at your local independent garden center. Espoma, organic from the beginning. No matter what shade your green thumb is, you can find the plants and the help you need at Wavra Farms. We're filled with an astounding array of colorful plants to fill your garden. In addition to wonderful annuals and perennials, we are known for our hanging baskets. We also have all your garden essentials, and we have great garden gifts too. From beginner to expert, you'll find something new and different with every visit. Wavra Farms, located off Highway 22, exit 5, east of Salem. And here it is, we're getting ready for summertime. You know, it's a nice breezy day. We're looking for a to get out on our patios. And we're out here with Terry out at Al's Garden and Home, and we're looking to be outside, and you have this great selection of garden patio. Where do we begin? Well, it's what a lot of questions that come up from customers who come in the store. They, they aren't real sure where to begin, and, and really it's asking themselves the question about how they're going to spend their time on the patio. Right. Um, do I like to dine? Do I want to have my morning coffee? Do I want to have a fire pit in the evening? That really helps us really narrow down what that customer so should look for. You kind of need for. to understand your space and what you're going to be doing with exactly, it. Right? Exactly, exactly. And then the next question is, what is their style? What is their color scheme? What, it, you know, what really makes them happy uh, in right. going into their patio? So that's the next question. Right, because you have this, you know, great selection out here. You know, you have seating areas, you know, there's fire pits, there's, you know, there's tables and, you know, round and square. It's like, you know, what, what do you look for when, you, when you're starting to pick out furniture? Right, and I think that's where we help them narrow it down. Um, some people prefer more of a modern look. Some people prefer something that's not super traditional. Um, that used to be the very popular items was the traditional ones, um, but now we're going a, through a transition where it's it's more modern and um, some of them don't want that really straight lines because they're still looking for comfort. Comfort right. is really important and this year we're seeing a lot more comfort coming in the modern styles. So more modern styles but comfort. Okay. Uh, the other thing that customers are really trying to to determine is how can I make my patio look unique? Um, I right. want to look different than the neighbor down the street. Right. So we try and help them mix and match uh, different materials and different styles so that they can be unique. Right, because there's a lot of choices out on the market exactly. of, of places to go and different different qualities too. I mean, you right. look around, you can, you, 
you know, you can pay a few extra dollars for some really, really nice furniture. So right. when you start looking at some of these people, right. you know, and you know, items, you can sometimes get sticker shock, but it's one of those that you kind of are getting what you pay for, depending on how long you want this to last, right? Right, exactly. What is, what is the lifespan expectancy of this furniture for that customer? Right. Um, that's what they have to ask themselves, and that's where the value comes in. So, um, you know, uh, some of the things that assure the customer and build confidence in the customer is showing them the welding of the furniture, showing them um, the warranty of the right. furniture. Uh, it, it sort of builds confidence in them in it has more quality and has okay. more value to them. Right, right. Well, it's definitely worth, worthwhile tra traits and features because right. if you're making an investment like this, you want it to last. Sure. And there, I'm sure there's some things that you need to do to, for some care to take care of this to make, your, to make this investment last. Right, and, right. And what kind of things would, would we want to be doing you know, to protect our investment? Right. Well, you know, I always recommend covers for the furniture okay. um, as we go into the winter season. Um, I never recommend they keep their pillows inside, but this year we have some great storage units okay. that uh, they can put their cushions in to help with the storage of those items. But the frames themselves, I do recommend if they can't take them in over the winter, that they, they buy some patio furniture covers. Okay. And yeah. these are all suggestions, things you can help them with when they, Correct. when they come in. So if they're, you know, looking, you'll help design their, you know, their patios, you know, they come to bring in pictures of what they're looking for on their patio to get an idea. They do. And it helps us really guide them in the, in the right direction um, because a picture helps us see what is the scale of okay. the space. Um, how many pieces of furniture will actually fit on their patio. And so it is really helpful when they show pictures, um, but it's, it's even more important that they measure before they come. Right. Yeah. So it sounds like, you know, they can, they can come in with their thoughts or ideas, you know, you can sit down with them. Right. You know, you have this a great selection in here that you can kind of tailor and put together whatever patio set that's going to work best for them. And that's where your expertise definitely come, comes into, right. into play. So. Right. Yeah, and their you know color really plays a big part as well. Right. Um, a lot of, of our customers have a, a certain color that makes them happy that they have all over the inside of the house, and we recommend that they bring the inside out and share some of the same color schemes so that they have a common theme. Which, um, and it, it's colors that which, really work. Which for is them. great, you know, with yeah. all the all those different tricks and ideas, you know, it's great that they can come in here and get the expertise from guys here at Al's and I'm assuming you can go onto your website or you can go to you know, gardenteam.tv and check check it out and we'll click you over. So right. appreciate you having us out and tell us about your patio furniture. Absolutely. Today. Yep. We want to thank you for watching Garden Time today and don't forget many of our independent garden centers are open so check out their website for their hours and their procedures to keep us all very safe. And don't forget, if you want to watch the show again or to have other tips and tricks, make sure you check out our website at gardentime.tv. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week on Garden Time. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.